Welcome to Scoop Canada, your source for uncovering the truth behind Canadian politics. Today, we're diving into a shocking revelation brought to light by Michael Barrett. In a jaw-dropping turn of events, the NDP Liberal Cover-Up Coalition has voted to shut down hearings into Trudeau's Winnipeg lab scandal. Trudeau's actions have allowed Beijing to infiltrate Canada's most secure lab, sending deadly viruses to the People's Republic of China and accessing secure files and documents. This raises serious questions. What are they trying to hide? The decision to halt the investigation into such a critical issue reek of a deliberate attempt to conceal the truth and protect the interests of the Liberal Party. Join the conversation and share your thoughts. Do you believe there's a cover up underway? How do you think Canadians should respond to this alarming revelation? Before we move further, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. Michael Barrett's video starkly exposes the Liberal government's evasion of accountability in the Winnipeg lab scandal. At a critical committee meeting probing the scandal, Liberal members were conspicuously absent, demonstrating a flagrant disregard for transparency and democratic principles. In the video, Barrett, flanked by colleagues, highlights the unprecedented nature of the occasion, the Prime Minister's unprecedented move to sue Canada's House of Commons to prevent document release. Despite obtaining these crucial documents, the Liberals are now stonewalling the hearing and silencing officials set to address the issue. In the history of our country occasion, where the Prime Minister has taken Canada's uh, House of Commons to court to block the release of documents. Now, we got these documents, um, and uh, and... Now they're blocking the hearings, silencing the officials. Barrett's commentary sheds light on the Liberals' true commitment to transparency and democracy, or rather their lack thereof. Their empty seats in the committee room speak volumes about their reluctance to face scrutiny and be held accountable for their actions. So I want to show you the uh, Liberal members' um, commitment to, uh, to transparency and democracy. So let me take you through their seats in the room. Seat number four seat number five, seat number six, seat number seven. You can see that the Liberals um, not showing up for work today, uh, but shutting down a meeting with, uh, with the NDP, their uh, partner in the cover-up coalition. By failing to show up, they are effectively shutting down a vital forum for addressing serious allegations of government wrongdoing. Moreover, Barrett's mention of the NDP as a partner in the cover-up coalition further underscores the collusion between political parties to suppress the truth. This collusion not only obstructs justice, but also erodes public trust in the government's ability to act in the best interests of the Canadian people. The Liberal government's absence at the committee meeting is not just a matter of mere inconvenience, it represents a blatant betrayal of the fundamental principles of democracy and transparency. According to a report by the National Post, the joint effort of the Liberals and NDP to shut down an emergency House of Commons Ethics Committee meeting reflects a concerning pattern of negligence toward Canada's national security. The Liberals and NDP's joint effort to shut down an emergency House of Commons Ethics Committee meeting aimed at delving into the serious matter of security breaches at the Winnipeg National Microbiology Laboratory reflects a concerning pattern of negligence toward Canada's national security. Conservative foreign affairs critic Michael Chong rightly highlighted the gravity of the situation, emphasizing that these breaches are indicative of broader government failures in safeguarding national interests. Trudeau's government quick to dismiss the urgency of the situation, opted to halt the probe with the assistance of their NDP allies, demonstrating a blatant disregard for transparency and accountability. Their criticism of the Conservative chair for convening the meeting without extensive consultation appears hypocritical, considering the gravity of the allegations at hand. The release documents revealing the extent of QEU's collaborations with Chinese institutions and the transfer of scientific knowledge to benefit the PRC government only underscore the severity of the security breaches. Despite the clear evidence of misconduct, Trudeau's administration has failed to address these breaches adequately, raising serious questions about their commitment to protecting Canadian interests. This latest episode further tarnishes Trudeau's record on national security and highlights his government's inability to effectively address threats to Canadian sovereignty. As allegations of security breaches continue to mount, Canadians are left to wonder whether their government is truly capable of safeguarding their interests in the face of external threats and internal vulnerabilities. In a statement, Michael Cooper highlighted the alarming magnitude of the national security breach at Canada's highest security lab, which the government allegedly presided over for four years. That uh, presided over or under whose watch a massive national security breach occurred at Canada's highest security lab. 
And for years, the Liberals tried to cover this up, taking unprecedented steps to defy Parliament, defying four orders of Parliament, and even going so far as to take the Speaker of the House of Commons to court to block the Winnipeg lab document. He criticized the Liberals for attempting to cover up the issue and defying parliamentary orders, even resorting to legal action to block the release of documents related to the Winnipeg scandal. Cooper emphasized the need to uncover the decisions that led to this cover-up, suggesting that they reach the highest levels of government, including the Minister of Health and the Prime Minister. Despite the presence of key officials at the committee meeting, Cooper lamented that instead of obtaining answers, the cover-up coalition comprising Liberals and NDP once again prevailed demonstrating their total contempt for Canadians' demand for Canadians for transparency and accountability. Michael Cooper condemned what he called a cover-up of a cover-up orchestrated by the so-called cover-up coalition comprising the NDP and Liberals. Do Liberal and NDP MPs panic? And, and at the very first opportunity, they moved a motion to shut down the hearings, to shut down committee. He criticized their decision to shut down hearings into Justin Trudeau's alleged cover-up of the significant national security breach at the Winnipeg lab, accusing them of prioritizing loyalty to Trudeau over transparency. According to Cooper, the NDP Liberals have shown a blatant disregard for the principles of transparency and accountability, focusing instead on shielding Trudeau from scrutiny. This move, in Cooper's view, represents a failure of the government to uphold its responsibility to the Canadian people, particularly regarding matters of national security. By shutting down the hearings, the NDP Liberals are effectively impeding efforts to uncover the truth behind Trudeau's actions and hold him accountable for any wrongdoing. Cooper's remarks underscore the deep-seated concerns among opposition members regarding the integrity and transparency of the government, particularly in handling sensitive issues such as national security breaches. He argues that the decision to shut down the hearings not only undermines the parliamentary process, but also erodes public trust in the government's ability to act in the best interest of Canadians. Furthermore, Cooper accuses the NDP Liberals of prioritizing political expediency over the fundamental principles of democracy, uh, suggesting that their actions serve to protect Trudeau's image rather than uphold the principles of accountability and transparency that are essential in a democratic society. He calls for a renewed commitment to upholding these principles and ensuring that Canadians receive the answers and accountability they deserve. Larry Brock expressed his frustration, highlighting that two committees were shut down consecutively by what he referred to as the NDP Liberal government. He pointed out that the previous day saw the shutdown of discussions on the Arrive scam, followed by the shutdown of hearings on the Winnipeg Lab scandal. Absolutely no to this ongoing and persistent. Chair, that's yeah. absolutely inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah, yeah. inappropriate, yeah, yeah. Chair. You just need a simple yes or no, please. Brock accused the NDP of existing solely to complain about work and to cover up for what he described as the most corrupt prime minister in Canadian history. Brock's statement reflects a sentiment of disappointment and skepticism regarding the government's commitment to transparency and accountability. He suggests that the actions of the NDP Liberal Coalition serve to protect Trudeau's administration rather than address legitimate concerns and uphold democratic values. By shutting down committees and impeding investigations into alleged scandals, Brock implies that the government is prioritizing political interests over the public's right to know and hold leaders accountable. Are you concerned about the transparency and accountability of our government? What steps do you think should be taken to ensure that important investigations are not obstructed? Join the conversation and share your thoughts.